Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we're here to look at a beautiful, new, very limited collection from Sonia G. I have here all four of the Sonia G Sunset Cranes Maquille Brush Set. It's an eye brush set. We're going to talk about it, take a look at it, and we're, of course, going to do a little demo as well. I can't wait. So glad to have you here. Don't forget that you can also follow me over on Instagram, TikTok, and on threads. Okay, let's do a little brief overview of these brushes. You can get the most information, and it's fascinating information, by the way, over on Sonia G's blog, which is called SweetMakeupTemptations.com, and I will link it below. And Sonia there goes into all of the inspiration behind these. You know, these are artisanal handmade brushes using craftsmanship that's, you know, centuries old, really. And Sonia G has immersed herself into the culture and learned so much about it with such um, kindness and respect in only the way that she can do it. So hearing her, or I should say reading about her experiences there is amazing and how she looked into the maquillage uh, art form and what she represents. So let, let's talk about these. They're not just pretty, they're also really, really usable. They have, let me just hold up, I'm holding up the soft pencil here as an example. They have a unique, what Sonia G is calling wavy handle. And by that, she means that they kind of undulate. Undulate would mean constant movement, but they stay steady to kind of narrower and wider. And what this does is it gives you a little bit more control over the brush, depending on where and how you hold it. Now the artwork on this, and if it doesn't show in my uh, video here, I will get some close-ups from her blog. But the make, the, the painting here that's done, this bespoke painting, is two different cranes, as you can see there. That's why these are the Sunset Crane Maquille brush set. And the other part of this set that's very unique is the squirrel hair, blue squirrel hair. It's almost kind of appears a black squirrel hair, and they just pick up product beautifully. Squirrel, squirrel hair brushes are actually my favorite. Um, mostly when you use natural hair brushes, you will use goat hair, uh, but these are, squirrel hair have a certain, to me, softness and delicateness. I have washed these and dried them before I use them, but my squirrel hair brushes, I wash much less than my goat hair. I tend to just wipe them off in between on a uh, soft towel, and that gets the product off. I did wash them the first time because when, when you get natural hair brushes, it's nice to give them a wash when you just get them. Why? It just is. They take a little bit of a better shape. It's tempting to dive right in, but they take a little bit of a better shape. Now, I will say, um, I realize I'm making some people unnecessarily envious, and that's not why I'm doing this. I did purchase these brushes with my own money. They sold out the first time I was able to get them. Uh, then they were reintroduced on December 27th, and uh, when I'm filming this, they're still available, but I bet by the time you see this, they'll be gone. So I'm not trying to make you envious. Let me just show you about these brushes. I am proud that I was able to grab them. I did pay for them and get them. I did not, however, get the beautiful new wooden brush holder. I would have died for it. Went for sale at 10 a.m. my time, and I was just checking out, and it was 10.01, and I missed it. So if that comes back, I will try. You know, when Sonia G says these are artisanal and they're limited in quantity, this isn't some sort of marketing speak. They're, these are handmade, these things. They go fast. The, the brush holder, I, I bet they had, I'm sure they had less than 20, honestly, if, if that much. You know, these, these take forever to make. They're beautiful. So this comes in. Let me just show you a shot here. I, as I told you, I took this apart and washed them. But before I did, here's how they arrived at my home when my order arrived to me. And this is the beautiful wooden case, which will be their home. And the beautiful, the paper it comes in. And the, I just wanted to show you what that looked like because I wasn't able to preserve it since I took it apart to use it. Uh, and we have four different brushes with that kind of wavy 
handle and we're going to go through them as we use them. I thought we would use the new Natasha Denona eyeshadow, the My Mini Dream eyeshadow palette. Why not? But we have the soft pencil. We have the flat smudger. This is a set of four. We have the mini builder and the arched worker and we're going to be using them all and kind of talking about them. They have brass ferrules. Uh, they have la the lacquer design and this blue squirrel hair. They do retail for $220, which is what I got them for. And maybe they'll come back again if, if they come in twice. You never know. Uh, Sonia G is very in tune with her community. So the more these are asked for, uh, she will try to make it happen. It's not always doable, though, you guys. I mean, this is limited quantity, really, really kind of precious stuff. You know? Okay, so let, we're going to start, I think, with the arched worker. So the arched worker has an arched ferrule as well, and, the, and it gets the entire eye in this. I, it is just a dreamy, soft blue squirrel. So I'll go into this Natasha palette and use this to show you. I'm not really doing so much of an eye look as I am just showing you how these perform. And it's just, I have small eyes, I do, but I'm able to just kind of get the whole eye with this matte shade right here and it is such a pleasurable experience remember i did wash this first it is such a pleasurable experience it just gets the whole eye and kind of one go i was using it more than i even needed to because i just like the way it feels but i also want you to know that it has this kind of flat kind of tip here that could if you needed it to go under the eyes or could all you know apply a shade into the edge of the eye too or even into the crease. It's a useful little guy because you don't need to just use it flat. You could also use it that way. And of course, the, the way you can grip the handle changes how the shadow comes depending on how far you go out. So that is a beautiful, beautiful brush. Remember, not doing an eye look here so much as just a demonstration of the brushes. Okay. We have our mini builder here. The mini builder is has a really firm, stable tip. It will apply shadow in its most concentrated form. I'm going to show you it here um, by using this darker shade right here. This is the shade that the whole Natasha palette is built upon. And I'm just going to show you here. It will give me very accurate, very true placement here. It could also be used uh, to line the eye. It could be used underneath the eye. Um, I'm just kind of, it could be also used if you have the flat end of it. You could apply a uh, shimmer shade by just, and we might do that, by just going across the eye like that. There are a number of uses for all of these brushes. And my favorite thing with these brushes is actually not to follow the rules. Sonia G definitely um, lets you know what you can use these brushes for, but it's my favorite to discover new uses. I think that's what makes it really fun. So let's actually use this mini builder on its side to take a shade such as this one right here and apply it. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go from the inner corner all the way onto the eye, just like that, just smooth. And you get no fallout back into the shade right here. And I'm just gonna smoothly go across. And the other thing this would do is if you want to just go up and down right there in the middle, I'm doing kind of two different eye looks here. That'll work for that. So depending on the look that you want to get on your eye, this will do either one. Okay, let's move over now. Oh, that, that blue squirrel is just such an indulgent feeling. This is the flat smudger. It's really firm and dense. It has this straight top, so it will do a super even application. Um, I'm gonna take this darkest shade here. I have a um, video on the Natasha palette that does a better job of presenting the shades. This video is really just about the brush. The brushes, I should say. Okay, we're gonna use the flat smudger here to go underneath the eye. This will put pigment right up against the lashes, uh, absolutely expertly, kind of the way a pencil would. And I can even do this, I had to scratch my nose there. I can even put, apply pigment right there up against the lashes, as you see. This would also work to do what we used the mini builder for and apply shadow here. This would also work to apply any sort of a gentle shimmer and not have fallout in much the same way that the mini builder would. There's a million uses for these. There's four brushes, but honestly, it's kind of 
endless what you could do with it. And we're gonna then do this uh, right here. This is our soft pencil. So this is a pencil brush, but it's got a lot of movement at the top, but not floppiness. What do I mean by floppiness? Um, it's got movement, but control. All right, let me show you what I mean. This will work really well on the inner eye. Okay, it's a pencil. Let me just on this eye right here, just show you what we can do. It'll apply and it's so soft, especially on this part of the eye. It's super soft and gentle. So it'll get right in there. This will go at the lash line, under the lash line. This can do under the brows right here if you wanna put some shimmer or highlight there. This will do any sort of those little areas, but uh, as a pencil, it's very versatile because versatile because there's a lot of movement there. So you can kind of even do any little detail work that you want. Four pencils, but a myriad of uses in this super, super soft, soft blue squirrel. Again, with the palette, I'm guessing, with the... Uh, Brushes, I'm guessing, not being available. It's my guess. Um, I'm hoping they're going to come back. I am not trying to do this to make you envious. I wanted to present this for those of you who did get lucky enough to get the set so you can kind of play around with what you'll be doing with them, but also in case they come back. And then a lot of people just like to window wish. $220 is a lot of money. So if it was just something fun for you to see uh, these brushes in action and maybe get some inspiration, I hope it worked for that as well. I would love for everybody to stop and check to see if they are subscribed. I certainly could use your help in reaching 20,000 and world domination thereafter, but 20,000 first. There's also information down below on these brushes, as well as information on how you can find Sonia G's Sweet Makeup Temptations blog and learn even more about the journey that she's on with these brushes. It's very, very informative. And also how you can join us and become a member. I am just so grateful for all the support this year and so excited to see what 2024 brings. But let me know your thoughts down below. Were you able to get this? Were you able to get that wooden box? Because talk about being envious. I am. Let us know down below. That's what makes us a community. Make sure that you share and like this video. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye-bye.